Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have this balloon sleeve cardigan. It's really easy to make. It's perfect for beginners. All you need is a weight for yarn, a 6mm hook and an 8mm hook. In this tutorial I make a size small for all other sizes. Check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. Now the cardigan in the photographs was made with line brand wool ease. I know that some people might find line brand pretty hard to get in Europe so another good alternative is Drops Alaska. So we're going to start off with our back panel and using the 6mm hook we're going to chain 8. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row you should have seven single crochet. For the next row we're just going to chain one and then turn our work and now we're going to single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across and you're going to repeat this row until the end of row 64. So for demonstration purposes I've just done a smaller swatch but you're going to do 64 rows. Once you have your 64 rows we're going to make 64 half double crochet all the way across. So we're going to chain one and make 64 half double crochet all the way across. And for the next row we're going to chain one, turn our work, half double crochet into that very first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. And you're going to repeat this row until the end of row 58. The front panels are made the same way but we're just going to do less stitches. You're going to start off by doing the bottom hem but this time you're going to do 24 rows of single crochet working into the back loop only. Once you have your 24 rows, you're going to do 24 half double crochet across the long edge of the ribbed hem. And you're going to continue the same amount of rows that you did for your back panel. And now we're going to start working on our sleeves and we're going to change to our eight millimeter hook and we're going to make a chain of 60. So when you have 60 chains completed, I've just done a smaller swatch here just for demonstration purposes. We're going to join in the round, so just make sure that your stitches are not twisted. And then we're going to slip stitch into this very end chain. And now we're going to start working in the round. So once your two pieces are connected, we're going to chain one. And we're going to single crochet into that same stitch and then we're going to single crochet into each of the remaining 59 chains so all together you're going to have 60 single crochet Thank you. 
So when you've single crocheted all the way around, we're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. Next, we're going to chain one and into that very first stitch, we're going to make a single crochet and two double crochets. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches and then into the next you're going to make one single crochet and two double crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. You're going to skip two stitches and then into the next make one single crochet and two double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So here we are at the end of the row and you should have two stitches left so we're going to skip those two stitches and then we're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. Next we're going to chain one and into that very first stitch make one single crochet and two double crochet. Then you're going to skip the next two double crochet and into that next single crochet make one single crochet and two double crochet. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. You're going to skip two stitches and then into that next single crochet place one single crochet and two double crochets. So here we are coming up towards the end of the row. I'm just skipping two stitches and then into that next single crochet, place one single crochet and two double crochets. Then 
skip the next two double crochets and then into that very first single crochet that we started the round with we're going to make a slip stitch and you're basically going to repeat this round over and over again until your sleeve measures about 11 inches so you're just going to chain one into that same stitch make one single crochet and then two double crochets then you're going to skip the next two double crochets and into the next single crochet make one single crochet and two double crochets and keep going around and around until you have about 11 inches So once your sleeve measures about 11 inches, we're going to switch back to our six millimeter crochet hook. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way around. When you reach the end, you're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet to close the round. Then you're going to fasten off and you're going to make your second sleeve the same way. Now we're going to start our sleeve cuff and we're going to use our 6mm hook and we're going to chain 23. So once you have your 23 chains we're going to single crochet into that second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you should have 22 single crochet. So next, chain one and then turn your work into that very first stitch, place one single crochet into the back loop and then make one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And you're going to repeat this row until the end of row 30. So when you have 30 rows completed, we're just going to fold it over and we're going to slip stitch the two ends together. Once you've slip stitched the two ends together, you're just going to fasten off and leave a long tail. Now my sweater was already made before I made this video, so you're just going to lay your front panels on top of the back panel and you're going to seam across the shoulders and then you're going to seam up along the sides and you're going to leave about nine inches of an opening for your armholes. And then once you have 
the body pieces sewn together you're going to stitch your sleeve to the body of the cardigan. Next you're going to stitch the sleeve cuff to the main part of your sleeve. Now you will have to cinch the main part of your sleeve a little bit so that the, the cuff will fit. And once you have all that done you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom inner corner and you're going to do about 10 rows of single crochet working into the back loop only. And then once you have that done you're just going to fasten off, weave in all your ends and your cardigan is finished. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. and until next time take care.